What's up guys? It's Covert Code here and in today's video we're going to be resuming our Zero to Hero series. Welcome back to episode 18 which is about pairs loops. In the previous video we covered how you can use C-frames in your scripts and hopefully by now you know how to use them. Uh, they're pretty easy to use and they're very very convenient. So let me just delete everything from last time and erase everything inside of the script and zoom in just like that okay guys so let me just define a table and i'll fill it up with some random objects and show you how to use the pair loop uh structure on that table so let's describe some ice cream okay so local ice cream uh flavors is equal to and let's say there's straw berry chocolate uh vanilla i don't know uh, let's just um, use these three, okay? Uh, now, let me show you how to use the for loop uh, in pairs with this. So, for i, v, in pairs, ice cream flavors, do, okay? Let's just say print i, okay? Continuation, just like we did in the printing video, which was, I think, uh, video number two in this series, and v, okay? And if I just copy all this, um, and paste that in the command bar you're going to see that it's actually going to print out this section right there so let me explain what i v and in pairs actually mean so v is the actual object that you're printing out okay so that's strawberry chocolate vanilla all those things the actual data that you have in your table it could be a number like this it could be a boolean Everything that you can store inside tables, pretty much, okay? And i is the index. So remember they have one in front of them like this, but it's actually hidden. That's what the i is. It's telling you which index it is. That's what i stands for, index, okay? So essentially, you're, you're, it's pretty much a for loop. So if I were to do this with a normal for loop, for i is equal to one, two, hashtag ice cream flavors. So remember the hashtag in front of the table name means you're getting the length of the table okay uh do so i actually print i uh ice cream flavors okay i so this is the same as that this is what v means okay v is literally oh my bad uh v is literally that okay it's whatever it finds uh in that specific index essentially so in index number one it found strawberry in index number two it found chocolate and in index number three it found vanilla okay and in pairs all you're saying is you want to use two variables instead of one so usually you just use i okay and here you're using two and that's you're basically telling the script that you want to loop in pairs and pairs you know it's referring to two things that's all that is, literally. Now, this varies slightly with dictionaries. Uh, so let me just change this a bit. So let's just say uh, local car prices. Okay, we're going to be describing the car prices. And let's say a Ferrari is 500, actually 250,000 or something like that. Um, a Ford, any Ford, honestly. Uh, let's say 85,000, for example. And... Uh, let's say Tesla is equal to 65,000 or something like that, okay? And when I do the four IV in pairs uh, loop, okay, our prices, just like that, I is no longer going to be one, two, and three. It's going to be the index. And in this case, if we print out print I um, V, okay, it's just going to say Ferrari is equal to 250,000. Uh, and actually, just let me just print this out so you can see it live. Uh, so copy, paste. And as you guys can see, the indexes are now these, okay? Because that's what you do in a dictionary. You change the indexes to make them, uh, you know, easier for you guys to understand. And one of the most prominent use cases of for IV in pairs is, you know, you it's usually used to loop through something in workspace using something you've never seen before um if you've been following this series get children okay so get children like this now the way you do this so if you want to print everything in workspace 
So you'd say for I V in pairs workspace, okay? And something is wrong here, okay? The, the contents within the parentheses have to be a table, okay? And a workspace is not a table, it's an actual service, okay? So what you would do is you do get children, okay? And this will give you a table containing every single child of that instance, okay? Now if I say print i uh, v.name, okay? Remember we're printing out objects now, not, um, you know, strings. Uh, copy, paste, and as you guys can see, index number one is camera, okay? Index number two is terrain, and index number three is the base plate. That's pretty much all I have, guys, for this video on 4iv in pairs loop. Um, it's not as daunting as it might seem. It's pretty easy to use, very convenient, and you should definitely learn how to use it. Thank you guys for watching. I would really appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions about what uh, videos I should make in the future, then I would really appreciate if you just leave a comment suggesting what your idea is and what you want me to do, and I'll see you guys next time.